the history of the Banished is one closely tied with the history of the Gerald Hanai. The species, though savage, managed to reach an early space age in their pre-covenant history. However, their warlike nature led them back into conflict and they quite literally nuked themselves back into a pre-industrial age. When they were found by the Covenant in 2492 CE, the species eagerly adapted the Covenant's beliefs and ideology. Though some Gerohane packs fought, any resistance was quickly put down. Within the Covenant military, the Gerohane were deployed as heavy infantry and shock troops. However, they were often treated as a lower caste, especially by the Songheili. By the time of the Human Covenant War, if not earlier, some clans were used purely as cannon fodder, taking advantage of the fervency with which the species believed in the Great Journey. Among these was the clan of Atriox. Forty at a time, his clansmen would be sent into the fire, either figuratively or literally, with the promise that death would speed their holy journey. None survived until Atriox did, again and again, until he could no longer contain his hatred for the Covenant. When they tried to kill him, Atriox rebelled, and his rebellion inspired others, including the Jiro Hanai who would become his most trusted lieutenant, Decimus. Over time, Atriox's rebellion grew, despite the efforts of the Covenant. Atriox and his banished raided Covenant warehouses and facilities, taking anything they could get their hands on. Following the Great Schism and the fall of the Covenant, Atriox and his banished managed to salvage a great deal of the Empire's form of power for themselves and attracting new allies. Among these allies was the shipmaster Let Valir. With the fall of the Covenant, the shipmaster found himself in an odd position. His faith had been shattered, and as he watched his species descend into civil war, he found no desire to either aid the Arbiter Swords of Sanghelios, nor any of the various Covenant remnants. All he had was his ship and a duty to keep his crew alive. When he came upon Atriox and the Banished, he struck a deal to keep his ship fueled and supplied, while serving Atriox with unquestioning loyalty. While not ideal, it was the best of a bad situation in his eyes. Over the years, Atriox would continue to attract more to his group, offering them freedom from old hatreds, from restricting beliefs, the freedom to choose one's own path, to take for oneself, and only oneself. At a date unknown, a remnant of the Silent Shadow, a special operations group of the former Covenant, infiltrated Atriox's corvette, the Adherent. When they found the banished leader on the bridge, rather than having them killed, Atriox made them an offer the offer of freedom. Though the group's leader, Ressa Azavale, denied the offer, the rest of the Silent Shadow found it appealing. They killed Ressa and joined Atriox and his Banished. The Banished would continue to raid and plunder wherever they could, but at a time unknown, Atriox had let bring the Banished to the Ark, the Forge of the Halo Array. Let's CAS Assault Carrier, the Enduring Conviction, arrived at the Ark in late 2558, where they slaughtered the humans that had been stationed there to study the installation. Over the next four months, Atriox established a strong banished presence on the Ark, looking to take it for all it was worth. Then, a mysterious human vessel appeared over the Ark. A new group of humans made their way to its surface, among them the legendary demons once feared by the Covenant. But Atriox does not fear them. Not anymore. As he prepares his forces to once again engage humans, one cannot help but wonder what Atriox truly wants with the Ark, and what chance the Spirit of Fire stands against the banished. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.